We go to Hong Kong first, where police are clashing with protesters at an unauthorised rally. Tens of thousands have defied a police ban to demonstrate after last weekend's violence that left dozens of people injured. I want to go first to Anna. Uh, you've been amongst it now, hour after hour. You've seen... Linda, let me talk to you. Linda, let me tell you what is happening. We have just been charged by riot police up the escalators into the train station. This is absolute mayhem. They have just come in. The protesters wielding batons, spraying pepper spray. It is pandemonium inside here. I have no idea how they are planning to disperse this crowd. protesters trying to, to get them to go home to head towards the train station and they've entered the train station where you've seen this commotion we are now inside the train station that's absolutely right linda we are inside the train station and they charge up the escalators and as you can see the police are now retreating i don't know who is running this operation but it is dangerous and they are shaking their pepper spray canisters Struggling. 
So, so at the moment, it just, just to bring our viewers who are joining us up to date, this protest on the streets of Hong Kong that is now in the train station has been going on for hours. Since about 3 p.m. local time, it's now 10 p.m. Hong Kong time. You can see there now, as Anna was just describing, the riot police uh, spraying pepper spray in the train station at protesters there. I'm just going to let you pick it up, Anna, if you can hear us, if you can speak. Are protesters heading on trains to leave? Are they standing their ground? From what we can see, it looks like they're standing their ground. I'm going to bring in our other correspondent, uh, Christy Lustout, while we continue to show you this vision. This is what is happening in a train station in Hong Kong now where riot police have been facing off against protesters for hours. Uh, if you can hear me, Christy, just give us a sense of what you have been witnessing on the streets there in Hong Kong as, as protesters continue to rally at this unauthorised rally as riot police try to disperse the crowd. Right, Linda, I'm standing outside the train station where we were listening to Anna Corrin and seeing her, the scenes of mayhem as she described it earlier. This is the final standoff in what has been another dramatic day of protest in Hong Kong. All this taking place in the far north of Hong Kong in Yuen Long. And in the vision, you can see the area here. We are outside the train station, completely surrounded by riot police, police in tactical gear, who throughout the last few hours have been using tear gas, baton charge, pepper spray to push back the protesters and to clear the streets. This has been an unauthorized protest. It began earlier today at a playground in Yuan Long at 3 p.m. And we've been there following the protest as it attracted, on our count, tens of thousands of people. We also learned from the hospital authority that at least nine people have been hospitalized. The nature of their injuries, their ailments, not known. It was a peaceful protest attracting uh, vast members across the uh, demographic society here in Hong Kong. Many people brought out because they're angry about the scenes of violence that played out here in Yuan Long last weekend when we saw the men wearing white t-shirts attacking protesters, journalists and passers-by and what people saw as a reluctant response by the police to get involved. They were directing their anger. These protesters that took out in this unlawful protest, risking arrest by taking part, directing their anger against the triads who became involved in this protest and also against the police response. And that's the important thing to talk about here, that ever since the beginning of the summer protests here in Hong Kong, we have seen the focus change from what was originally on June the 9th, a single issue peaceful mass protest about a controversial extradition bill has morphed into something so much greater. It has reflected people's uh, feelings or anger towards the, the um, political institutions in Hong Kong, their lack of trust in the police force here in Hong Kong, their concerns that criminal gangs and triads are becoming involved in the protests that are taking place. And these are highly disruptive, massive protests that have destabilized this international financial city all across Hong Kong. Again, this is Yuan Long, the far north of Hong Kong. It's closer to mainland China than to the Central Business District. We're expecting more protests to take place tomorrow in Central. This is a summer protest that's not going to end anytime soon. Linda. So, Christy, today's protest now in its seventh hour, and as you said, more protests expected tomorrow. The government must really be regretting how it handled those first protests weeks ago. The government is standing firm. Uh, earlier this week, I attended a press conference with um, that was led by the embattled chief executive, Carrie Lam. Next to her, the police commissioner, Stephen Lowe. They condemned the acts of violence that took place last weekend, but they also defended police action, said that there was no link between police and triads. And according to Stephen Lowe, he said the reason behind the delayed police response last weekend was because the police were concentrated in Hong Kong Island, so they weren't able to come out to Yuan Long in time. Um, you should have heard the local press corps response to that when they heard it. Um, they didn't buy it. And the protesters who were out in force earlier today, they didn't buy it either. That's what drove them out into the streets. Again, there was no official organizer. This was an unlawful protest. It did not gain permission by the police to take place. So there's no official count of how many people took part. But tens of thousands of people took over the streets of Yuan Long. The police, in the last three hours, they've engaged in this clearance operation, again, using pepper spray, rubber bullets, 
tear gas pushing the protesters back. Um, and now we have the last remaining protesters who are holed up inside the train station. That's where my colleague Anna Corin and her team have been reporting. And as we heard moments ago, police have been using pepper spray to try to control and push back those protesters as well. Very dramatic scenes here, Linda. Uh, absolutely. Christy Lister, good to have you on the case. I want to go back to Anna Corrin in that train station. If you can hear me, Anna, just uh, describe what you're seeing right now. Last we spoke, uh, it seemed that the riot police were, were spraying either tear gas or pepper spray in the station. Yeah, it, absolute craziness, uh, Linda. It, it's just, we seem like we're in a bit of a lull. Uh, someone here got a fire hydrant and was spraying it towards the, the police. Basically, the police have now cornered everybody. We are locked inside the train station. There are police down there, down those escalators. There are police out over on that uh, walkway as well. But those scenes just before you came to me, Linda, it was absolute chaos.